guys, welcome to Lisa Barbonart reporting from the bed, Mo's bed actually. Um, this is part two because I'm resting my back. If you don't know, herniated disc. I've been um, really trying not to paint too much, but I did uh, my last video and it ended up really long. So I've made it into two parts. You don't have to go watch the last video, but the last video I mixed my paints differently with different um, ingredients and I, oh my arm's hurting. And I made them thinner. So if you're interested in how I mix the paints for this video, head over to the last one. Basically the theme of this is I really wanted to do more of a watercolor look for blooms. So I didn't want popping cells. I really wanted something really flowy. So I do a few examples in this one. Um, I think they're really pretty. And then um, I also in this video, I'm always trying to dabble into instead of embellishing it when it dries to kind of wet embellish it so fix it with paints while it's still wet I don't know you'll see you you guys will tell me what you think um so enjoy bye you know what I think I really like it you know why it's like different than what I normally do which is always good to keep it different and it's really flowy I'm just taking a break on the chair for a minute okay this is a 12 incher I'm gonna do the same idea, but this time the background, I'm gonna do just those like turquoises, All right? And like, what if I just do the tubey with lagoon and shimmer to have that like cool background? Put you in the middle a little bit. Okay, let's give her a go. I think I put the perfect amount of pillow paint because I just, I didn't have to spin it too much, just the perfect amount. Okay, let's see if I can do it again. So for those of you who are having trouble with the bloom, whose paints are too thin, just try this one. <laughs> if this is what you're going for. Again, you're definitely not gonna get um, popping, uh, I put too much maybe, popping cells on this one. It is more of a flowy situation. Okay. And then I'm gonna go to one more corner. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm gonna change my gloves because I don't wanna drip paint everywhere. One moment, please. See how organized I am? Not really. Uh, and then I'm wondering, should I just do like a normal bloom? To just to show you why, what happens if your paints are too thin just on a normal bloom. We'll see, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, let's see here. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna sit again. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna start, as I said, with the, um, and I, like, I don't want the whole thing covered though, you know? Hmm. Whatever, we'll just do it. With the um, cypress green. I just, I just put my elbow right in there. Awesome. We have the lagoon, okay? And the shimmer for fun. Okay, I'm gonna take my big knife again. And we're just going to push gently. I'm dragging, dragging, doesn't matter what happens. We're just dragging it out. Gorge, that's like so pretty. I love it actually. <laughs> Should we just do paintings like that? Okay, now I'm gonna put her over here. Okay, what are we looking at? So, um, mm -mm -mm. yep, why don't I do a bloomy right here? Am I doing the same thing? Um, I could be doing the same thing. Did we like? 
really liked it. Okay, why don't I start again with the orange and we'll put her down here. And I think I did have enough paint actually. Okay, we're going off the side a little bit. Okay, and then we will do again the mango. Then, I don't really need the blue, do I? Uh, we will do a bit of this. I will do some sequins. I think I'm putting more paint than I should though, right? Probably. Um, I'll do a bit of the Violet Rain. And then I'll top it off with this. Okay. All right, yeah, that's quite a bit of paint. We went, we went nuts. That's fine. Okay, right at the bottom, blue. Here we go. Ooh, it made it pretty green. It made a nice green down there. That's very pretty. I love the natural flow of this, like where it's blown out and kind of very watercolory. So I don't want to mess with that too much. I love that natural look there. This is gorgeous. We're just doing something here. I'm not sure what yet. Like I don't even have to touch it too much. for a second. Isn't that pretty? You can't even see what's going on. Okay, I'm gonna spin it. Let's get some paint going over here. See, I did, I think I did put too much paint in this one because it's having to spin out quite a bit. Um, so it's not as delicate as it was at first. I might want to redo it to make it perfect because I see still a lot of paint moving in the middle and you see how the shape is kind of distorting. So you don't want distorted shapes. But I like where we're headed here. But now it doesn't look as cute. The colors, I still love. It's not horrible, but it's not like, it's like, what's it doing? You know? Yeah. Okay. So I want to redo. 
I think you'll agree. It, it just doesn't make sense as to, as to what it's doing anymore. But like the colors, I love these colors so much. Um, but yeah, it's just a mess. And also I think the square shape, you know, I love circles so much. The square shape is also this because the spitter's wonky, so the square shape isn't like spinning like totally proper. But however, okay, I like where we're headed. Okay. I think we're going. You know what? Why don't I should I do a close-up of just so you can see how pretty the colors are? Maybe. It's like such a shame to trash such pretty colors, but you know. We're looking for something specific. I mean, it's not what it was before. Like the flower's not kind of going this way. It's not horrible. I hate when I am unsure, you know? Um, hmm. Okay. I'm gonna do, no, we're redoing. I wanna do a close up just so you can see why I'm debating so much and then we'll see. Okay, for the, I really, I didn't trash it. And I, and I know it's like kind of ugly, but I don't know. There's something about it that I really like. Okay, last one. This is a 12 inch circle. I'm going to mouth blow. Two little blooms. And I do really like that blue background. And I don't want too much paint. So I'm not gonna do too much paint. Let's see if I did a good amount. I hope you guys are enjoying this one. I'm just so pleased because this flowy look is really what I've been going for for so long, you know? And it's definitely a departure for what I normally do because my paints are so thin, you know? No, this is quite thin. That's Probably not enough paint oh, on one side of this. Let's put some back down here. Yeah, I might, I'm gonna put, I should put a little bit more. So, especially because we're swiping first. Um, I'll just go like this. Okay. So, I'm going to do the green swipe again. I'm just evening everything out here, okay? All right, and then, the, so I do like that attachment because it gives like a different shape of petal, which looks really pretty. Um, but we'll try this too, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll even put more. Why not? All right, and then shimmer. Okay, we'll do a swipey. I have a whole swiping video, by the way. Pretty. Love it. <laughs> I just like, just look at the depth. I hope you guys can see why I get so excited about like these little things. Just 
the depth, which is so pretty. You know, I'm just gonna do a little stretcheroo, why not? Okay. So what am I doing? Um, I don't know, so before I was making it like this, why don't I put the dark on this side a little bit and then like do a bloom here, like this. Am I mouth blowing? Hold on, can I mouth blow? Um, I don't know, we'll see. Well, it depends because now am I going, okay, fine, a mouth blow, why not? A little variety, never hurt anybody. Okay, there's the purple, no, <laughs> color, oranges, okay, and then I will do the purple, I don't want too much dark, so I'm going to go sequins, okay, I hope I'm doing the right thing. And then I'll just go like this. Let's see what a mouth blow looks like with really thin paints, right? If this doesn't work, I'm keeping going until I have no paints left because I really love this. All right, here we go. It's so easy to blow out. Look at how different, though, <clears throat> the cells look and how big they are because everything's so thin. It sinks right away. Pretty colors. This is a multi... Okay, I have to do a close-up. Hold on. I just had to show you the multicolors. Okay, what are we looking at? Um, okay, we're looking at that. Uh, I'm gonna start spinning. But you see how the cell activator starts to sink right away because everything's so thin? That's what you get if you're looking for a regular bloom. Um, that's what you get is that kind of sinking spindly looking stuff so i didn't mind it in my blowouts because we weren't really looking for lacing or cells you know what i mean but here it is more of a traditional bloom that we're looking at and you know so i'm gonna spin it and then shape it we might trash it and then go back to the hair dryer but that was a good lesson for you. This is what it looks like when your stuff is too thin. And I don't think it will dry very pretty. So we're just, the colors were really neat. Neato, but not, I d one thing I cannot stand is a ton of melty cells, like a little bit fine, but let's not assault our eyeballs. You know what I mean? So I'm just doing this to detract from the fact. I, don't, I probably won't keep it. Um, detract from the fact that we're all melty. Yeah, we're, we're gonna trash this. Now we're just having fun. I should be using a skewer, not this thick stick, but it doesn't matter because it's going to sink in together anyways. So now I'm just making a bunch of lines. Let's see if anything sticks, but no. So that was a very good lesson of why you don't want thin paints. Um, so this is what 
I mean, obviously you could probably, I could probably fix it up maybe because there's some cool areas, but like this stuff just isn't going to look good. You know what I mean? So not to be alarmed because you know what we're going to do. I'm going to go back to the hair dryer. No, thank you to any of this, right? Goodbye. By the way, you can put that in a cup and reuse it. I just don't have the patience for that right now. Um, I only have a limited amount of standing power. Okay. Let's see. This is the longest video. So next, I have a few videos in my head. They might take me some time because I'm still not 100%. Um, but I got the new Triart <clears throat> um, tubes. Not the new, they're not new. But I use Triart tri a lot, but I've never used it for cell activator. And it's supposed to be very good for cell activator. So that's our next video. And then I have like a color combo idea. So, all right, here we go. This, which I love. This is our last one, so it better be good. Shmoogies, okay. Lagoon. Okay. And shimmer. Okay. And we clean this really well. Love it. I will never get tired of that pretty background. You know? Okay. Um, why don't I do a mini? Not like it matters, but. Just. You know? Why not? Clean it off and another one this way. Why not? There we go. Okay. So pretty. All right. Now this time I'm not gonna put that much color either. Okay, I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit. Um because I do want this background to shine, you know? It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, here we go. Uh, Orange, I'm gonna go one, okay. Probably too much. Mango. Okay. A bit, I'm gonna drizzle a little purple because I already put too much. <laughs> Even though I said I wouldn't. Sequins. Okay. And this. Oops, I made a little drop there. Don't worry, we'll fix it. That's why I try to keep my gloves non-drippy. Okay, ready? This is going to be the one, guys. And if not, that's okay. Okay, ready? Okay, see how I tried to make more of a shape with the hair dryer, like this? So I am breaking up that white, although it might stay white, but I just don't want the cells to get too huge, you know? Okay, now I will take my stick. 
good. Well, I should spin it a bit first, but. Right, let me spin and see what happens. Thank you guys for joining me on this journey. I really, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys kind of get uh, where I was going with it. Um, you know. Like I really like the vibe and I like the idea and I hope that I'm gonna switch this around that you guys like it as well so let me know uh in the comments what you think of like my thin down watercolor blooms I know they're not gonna be that popular but I kind of don't care because I I'm gonna I want to continue on this vibe for sure um, I think my um, measurements are fine I think it's just the amount of paint that I put down maybe a little bit less, but like, I kind of like, I kind of like her. So let me know what you guys think. If you stuck around, thank you so much for sticking around. Um, and I will be back soon with another fun video. Bye. All right, let's try a totally different shape. Um, more of like a Dutch pour shape. Why not, right? I'll just use whatever I have left here. Right? Now, is this a bloop or a boob way? Okay, so I'm just gonna do, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Do whatever I want to do. <laughs> okay. So, no, see, I did put too much paint as usual. Because I don't want to have to spin it. Although, since I'm not doing like an actual flower shape, it doesn't matter if I have to spin it, but I'd rather not have to spin it too much. And I just want the shape that I want. You know what I mean? Without too much trouble paint down here okay there that should be put down that corner all right so here we are uh yeah i should change my gloves because i'm clean one moment so yeah i'll do them a little a little v and again we're not worried too much about cells because they'll be a bit melty you know, we're just looking for shape and fun color. I'm not gonna do a background of this one. We're just gonna like go all out. So, um, what shape are we doing? Uh, I don't know, like that, and like that, right? I don't know, okay. Then we have mango, like 
this and like this. Look how fun I am. Okay. Then I will do Cypress Green. Oops, I'm probably putting too much paint already, but whatever. Cypress Green. Why don't we just do Cypress Green down here because we're fun, right? And then I'll put Lagoon. Oh, boops. Never mind. <laughs> that went face down, but guess what? I still have a bit of lagoon left. And there wasn't that much left, so I'm not that sad. So don't be too upset for me. Okay, there. What we will do is put some shimmer on there as well. And then on the other side, I'll do the purple. Okay. Now, on this side, I'll do the purple, right? And I'll do sequins, because it's pretty. Then I'll do magenta everywhere, because who doesn't love magenta? Even though it's not even magenta, Lisa, it's a violet. See, I probably put too much paint, but whatever. Okay, so now I don't want to put the, all the cell activator on, because it will start to sink. So why don't I do it in sections? Okay. I'm gonna start here, because we don't want too much. Okay, ready? Ooh, look at, there's like some really pretty colors right under here. Okay, kind of a weird shape, if you ask me. Um, kind of horrible-ish as of yet. Maybe I can fix it a bit. Um, what do we do? Okay, why don't I start to spin it and then we'll fix it. Of course my blowing wasn't, I'm not like a professional, so in this regard. The colors are really pretty though, I have to say. Um, it's just a little much, you know? A little much of nothing. Let's see. Yeah, it's like, what is it doing? It, it's not sure. You know? It's not sure what exactly it's doing. I had a good, somewhat of a good idea, but I didn't really execute it that well. Hmm. I 
Well, I better do something nice now so I don't waste this. All right. Mm -hmm. I like the colors at least. But it's like, what is it trying to do? You know what I really like is actually this part with no, no cells. Getting those cells off. Let's see what we can do. We can't do much. So get the cells off. Okay. Very watercolory, you know. Um, it's just so pretty. The middle part is so pretty, but I know that it's like kind of boring, but it's like kind of cool, but plain, you know. So what would one do with this? I don't know, I, I kinda like it, but no one else will like it. Um, so, what, where does that leave anybody? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I am going to try to blow something out right on top. I don't know. To kind of save the bottom part that I like. We shall see. I'm not that hopeful, but at this point, we've got nothing to lose. I'm not even gonna do any purple. Okay.
take some of that purple. I'm gonna take my glove off because it's quite drippy. I'm gonna take some of that purple and start to paint with it without being too drippy. See how I'm kind of painting, putting that purple there? We don't know if it's gonna do anything yet. But it could. So I'm essentially shadowing out a flower, hopefully. With some of this purple paint to make it pop out from the background. I don't know. Could be. Now, it could be a bit busy, but I don't know. I'll probably look at this later and say it's ugly, but for now, I don't think I hate it yet. As you know, making a shape that you want in fluid art is really hard, you know? So, and I've been trying to do it for years, to be honest. All right, if I had green, I might, I don't know what this is. It's black. It smells like cell activator, so I'm not gonna use it. Sometimes you gotta smell your paints. I definitely don't, I wish I had a dark green mixed up, but I guess since I don't have it, um, I'll use, this feels like it's, um, Phthalo turquoise. Just to get more of a outline a little bit. Now we're really painting, which is fun. Your paints have to be very thin for this. And notice how I spun out almost all the way my pillow paint um, to make sure it was really thin. You can have a lot of fun with this, like I am right now. <laughs> All right, I mean, listen, is it a masterpiece? No. Could we do fun things with this? Yes, we could. And that's what I encourage you all to do. All right, I'll do a close up. Let me know what you think of this idea. Obviously it's not like perfection, but we can definitely play around with it a bit more, right? Okay, let me know what you think. Bye.